This is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget, and this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, what's up? You're greatly appreciated. Come on in. You know the routine. This week for my collection video, I decided to do Stephen King's miniseries or movies that either need a reboot or at least a Blu-ray release. And what really kind of sparked this, my wife was like, you know, there's a new Salem's Lot or another Salem's Lot. I'm like, oh, you mean the one with Rob Lowe? She's like, no, there's another one. So HBO Max has a new reboot of Salem's Lot premiering on the HBO Max in October. So I'm looking forward to that. And it kind of sparked some thoughts about other great Stephen King movies that could really use a reboot or at least an upgrade to a Blu-ray. So without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. Back at the Black Cave, back at the Black Cave, we're back at the motherfucking Black Cave. Just gonna jump into my Stephen King collection, then do it from least to most favorite. Let's start out with Golden Years. Golden Years is a 1991 horror science fiction film directed by Michael Gornick, produced and written by Stephen King, starring Felicity Huffman, Ed Lauder, Francis Sternhagen, and Bill Raymond. And with this story, you have an explosion at a top central government lab, which injures an elderly janitor and exposing him to some, exposing him to some untested chemicals, which has a very interesting effect on him. And this is, um, it's 232 minutes. So it's kind of like a little mini series though. It's more science fiction than it is horror, but it's a fun watch. It's kind of one of those movies where you kind of settle in, you snuggle in and hang on for the ride. It's not, it's not very fast paced, it's very slow. It's more drama science fiction though, but still a very fun film. I'd like to see a, re a reboot of this. I think they'll do a good job of rebooting this. My next one, and this is part of a three-pack, uh, The Stand, which actually did get a Blu-ray release, moved me to The Langoliers. Langoliers is a 1995 drama, horror, science fiction film directed by Tom Holland. I believe that's Tom Holland did uh, Spider-Man, I believe, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of the actor Tom Holland. Uh, produced by Beth Frankhorn and written by Tom Holland. I know Tom Holland's done some horror films before. With this, you have a bunch of passengers on a plane that all of a sudden disappear. And you have the passengers existing on the plane trying to figure out what's going on. This stars David Morse, Frankie Falson, Dean Stockwell, Bronson Pinchot, and Baxter, ha Baxter Harris. And it's a good, good storyline. The... The special effects pretty much suck. It was back done back in the was it, 90s. Uh, even though they had better special effects, this is more of a made-for-TV movie. So I would love to see a reboot of both The Langoliers and Golden Years. And you have The Golden Years and The Langoliers. Kind of standard blah Blu-ray and these are both Paramount CBS releases. 
the Langoliers and Golden Years. Next, we have 1993's horror mystery science fiction film, The Tommyknockers, directed by John Power, produced by Jane Bieber, and written by Lawrence D. Cohen. This stars Jimmy Smith, Marg Helgen Helgenberger, John Ashton, and Robert Carradine. Give a small town of Haven becomes a hotbed of inventions all run by some strange green power device. The whole town is digging something up in the woods and you have an alcoholic poet played by Jimmy Smith who discovers the secret of the Tommyknockers. Again, little mini series, great science, decent science fiction. Again, it's, it's made for TV, but I think this would do really well if they did a, a reboot of this and upgrade the the special effects and make it a little bit more current though but this again hasn't had a blu-ray release we'd love to see a reboot or at least a blu-ray release of Stephen King's The Tommy Knockers next we have something from the 2000s this is a 2006 drama fantasy horror mystery thriller Desperation this is directed by Mick Garris produced by Bruce Dunn and written by Stephen King of course stars Tom Skerritt Steven Weber, Annabelle Gish, Gish, Charles Durning, Matt Frewer, Henry Thomas, and of course you have Ron Perlman. This you have um, a sheriff arrest a, a writer, a family couple, and a hitchhiker throws them on a jail cell on this deserted town of desperation, and they pretty much have to follow the rules of the sheriff. Very cool sci-fi a little bit of horror in there also. Love Ron Perlman. I just love his voice altogether. Very interesting, quirky actor. Again, this is done in the early 2000s. It's probably one of the shorter movies of the set at 131 minutes. So not quite a mini series, but kind of a long movie though. We'd love to see a reboot of this. If not, at least get a, a deep, a Blu-ray re-release of this. This is the 2006 Drama, horror, fantasy, mystery, thriller, desperation. And just in case I didn't show, I can't remember if I showed the Tommy Knocker ones. Yeah, nothing on the Tommy Knocker ones. Desperation. And this was a Lionsgate release. Tommy Knockers is also a Lionsgate release. Next, we have 2002's horror mystery thriller, Rose Red. I just watched this a few few weeks ago. This was directed by Craig Baxley, produced by Tom H. Brodeck, written by for Stephen King. This stars Melanie Linsky, Julian Sands, Jimmy Simpson, Matt Ross, and Emily Deschanel. You have a professor of psychology who leads a team of psychics into this old mansion, old decrepit mansion known as Rose Red. Her efforts are to unleash the spirit of the former owner and uncover the horrifying secrets of those who lived and died there. This is two hours and 54 minutes, so it's a long watch though, but very good story. It's in the spirit of the Haunted um, House on Haunted Hill. You just have a bunch of paranormal individuals trying to raise the spirits of this, of this old mansion. So again, done in the early 2000s, over 20 years ago. Either drop a Blu-ray release or do a reboot. So we'd love to see either one. Again, 2002's Rose Red. My last pick and my favorite one, Out the Group amazing story. This is going back to the 90s, late 90s, 1999's drama, fantasy, horror, thriller, Storm of the Century. This was directed by Craig Baxley, produced by Tom H. Brodick, and of course written by Stephen King. Starring Beckley, Becky Ann Baker, Kathleen Shafant, Adam Zoltoin, Zolt Zoltan, excuse me, 
Adam LaFrey and Peter McNeil. And you have this once in every hundred year storm in this fictional small town of Little Tall, Little Tall Island of the coast of Maine. Uh, all the access of the islands are all blocked off because of the storm and no one's able to leave the island until the storm is over. And while trying to deal with the storm, several tragedies strike and the town residents are forced to come together to deal with this incident. My favorite part of the movie, and don't want to give me spoilers away, is this, this villain. And all he keeps saying is, give me what I want and I'll go away. Give me what I want and I'll go away. Fantastic movie. Fantastic miniseries. We'd love to see both a Blu-ray release as well as a reboot of this. So, again, this was done in the late 90s. I think they can spice it up a little bit. Have some quite decent performances by the actors, though, but maybe get some different names. Maybe bigger names, bigger director, bigger budget. I think this would go over great. So these are my Stephen King releases that I believe either deserve a reboot, like they're doing with Salem's Lot, or a reboot and a Blu-ray release. Now, if you made it this far in the video, smash the like, give me the big thumbs up, leave some comments here, helps the algorithm. Uh, again, give me the, the big thumbs up, ring the bell. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Deuces.